I, I like the little one more than the big one. Do you see one. where that's from? It says Supreme Court. Yeah, it came from DC. Interesting. I bought that in the uh, gift shop. <laughs> I don't even want to know how much it costs you, Scott. Uh, can we have a call to order, please? You wrote the whole trip off on him. I did not. <laughs> I did not. Not a penny of government money was Are you rolling that over? you catch that? Okay. We need to have a, I hate to put this on it, but can you bring this group under control, please? Okay. All right. Uh, Director Slater Carter. I Present. Uh, Director Boyd. <laughs> Present. Director Wilson. Here. Director Harvey. Here. Director Huber. Here. Okay. Uh, the first thing I need to uh, let everyone know, we were in closed session from approximately 6.30 to 7.30 tonight. We were also in closed session last Wednesday from approximately 7.30 to 9. Um, and the outcome from that is we gave direction to council. Um, and the other thing that we have done is uh, there is a new attorney that is working for us by the name of Chris Fitzgerald. Uh, she is here somewhere and will be back in the, uh, in the room at some point. So with that in mind, uh, the President's statement will be very short. Um, as most of you know, um, there has been some litigation um, uh, pursued by the Half Moon Bay City Council related to SAM and everything around it. I would hope that um, as time goes on that they will come to the table and negotiate and be like individuals that should be for the best interest of the public at hand. And, uh, reduced the amount of money we're spending on legal fees and resolve an issue that should be resolvable. So I encourage everyone to do that. And with that in mind, uh, I have oral comments for items that are not on the agenda. And I have Bill Kehoe. No, I can talk a lot, but no. Microphone. What happened to our microphone? It's over in the corner over there. You want to go over there and face the wall? <laughs> that might be a good idea. <laughs> I come? just didn't want to. I didn't want to stop moving the furniture around. I don't want to look like I'm trying to take control. Are we on? And actually, is it plugged in? That's also a good question. It's plugged in, and I think now it's on. Okay. Oh. Fine. Bill Keo, more speech. Um, two hopefully <coughs> quick items. Uh, I fully agree with what the chair just spoke about. Um, that's one of the reasons I came here. I did go to this emergency sand board meeting that was held at GCSD. I was uh, actually quite disappointed that the uh, representatives from Half Moon Bay did not go. Um, I saw a comment in the Half Moon Bay Review, which kind of ticked me off, <coughs> that uh, they didn't want to come up here such a long way, and yet we send our people down there at least once a month and sometimes more. They ought to come up here. It's beautiful. Anyway, um, I want to encourage. Um, my local sore district to not let Half Moon Bay get away with this. I um, have watched the SAM board meetings off and on, not as much as I watch you guys. Um, but I think it's quite clear, having gone back and we read the, the JPA, that the intertie is part of that. And for the number of years they've been dragging and not fixing it, I actually think they're more culpable in the most recent spillage for not updating the infrastructure than those up here that represent us that have been trying to get some kind of maintenance program put in to avoid such spills. So please send your best guys like Dave against them <laughs> and, uh, and get them to come to the table. I mean, they should have done arbitration first according to the JPA and not going to directly to the lawsuit, so I don't get that. Uh, the second reason I'm here um, is uh, I just got this note from Ecology, and I have a couple of problems with it. Uh, it's not clear what they're talking about when they're talking about adding the compost, and it's going to be an extra three dollars, not a big fee for most people, but those on fixed incomes like myself, I'm being nickel and dime to death between this, and now the county wants to add an extra percentage on transportation to do something else, and I don't get that raise. I don't get that. It comes out of my savings because Social Security doesn't keep up with it. And so I actually do my own composting in my backyard half over 30 years. Um, I think it's fine that we use the old barrels. I drag them out to the front every two weeks. And you know, as long as I'm still fit to do that, that's fine too. I don't need a new green barrel to do it. I'm also a little bit worried about the size of that barrel. I think it's bigger than the blue one. 
that we have by half as much. There's a blue one like 64 or 68, and this is going to be 96. Um, that could be quite heavy if it's full with, uh, you know, chopped up green waste and trying to wheel it all the way around. Um, the smaller ones, it's easier. And I don't want to be paying for the compost. But when I read this, the other thing that really bothered me and why I actually came over here is I, and I'm not saying that they're dishonest people, I want to be right up front about that, but the fact that we mail this back to Ecology and then they're going to tally it up and tell you what the tally is, um, I don't think that's kosher. You know, it'd be like me running for office and counting the votes. Um, not a good thing. I would much prefer had it come through the district and your staff takes a look at it because I think we'll get a, a square deal on that. Um, I'm not saying that they're cheat on it, but it's a little, there'll always be a doubt in my mind as to whether or not we got the real data, to tell you the truth. I've talked to a few of my neighbors. I've been encouraged them to um, also reject this. And I hope anybody out there who's listening will take a close look at this and really try to, I mean, I, I just, I don't see why, why they need to keep raising the rates on this. Uh, like I said, I, I'm not even sure. They, if we don't do the composting, we don't pay the three. I, I, the wording on this is really bad, too. So if they're going to put down these lists, they should actually say how it's going to affect the price or not affect the price. And there should probably be a couple other options, but I'm not going to go through them all now. Thank you. Um, just a clarification. Um, oh. If you say it, but the question is, were, we, were you aware that they were sending this out until they did? Yes. Um, so the, um, the purpose of this is really for ecology to find out if there is interest, for example, in composting and uh, built. I mean, uh, you're assuming that there's some sort of an agenda behind this. I, I would say that I, I tried not to assume. There, that. I'm just saying there's going to. I mean, if if you know the majority of folks would like to see composting in the district, um, I, you can be sure that. The, Recology would go either either way. Um, we're going to structure the contract so that it, uh, you know, is fair <coughs> both ways. If it's either including or excluding compost, uh, we really try to find out, um, you know, what are the customer needs, and we actually have a very good idea because we are in continuous um, conversation with the customers. Customers come here, complain, uh, or. Um, you know, I mean, it's usually a complaint. It's less a uh, being for something. Um, one of the reasons for the 96-gallon uh, can is that we have had many complaints from folks about the uh, non-standardized green waste procedure. Uh, yes, the can is bigger, uh, but if you stack your five cans together, four cans together, you're going to have the same... Uh, footprint as the 96 gallon can mm -hmm. and lug around more weight uh, if it's empty. If it's full, um, the weight itself is not something that uh, should be a problem unless you put material in that is prohibited, like dirt, sand. <coughs> so we're talking green waste and not um, you know, dirt, uh, heavy material. Uh, the a uh, standardized can is also uh, um, a safety concern for actually ecology workers because there uh, were some injuries associated with the non-standardized cans. So there's a number of reasons for for why we could, why we're considering this step. But again, um, if you have an opinion, that's why we sent this out. So we want to learn about this. So please, you know, put the X where you think it needs to go and send it back. Something I suggested to you guys is that we bring in one of the 96 gallon cans with the weight that it would have if it were full of green ones. Right. So yeah. that people yes. can see it. Um, and I told Chris about this. My concern is <coughs> getting things up and down the hills. Um, it's, it's easy to do something on a flat paved surface. 
but not everybody's driveways are in such good shape, and most driveways in this community are not flat. Well, that's what—that's exactly the reason why we're going to a standardized can with wheels, because that makes this process much easier. You no, know, because I've got to take it, or people have to take it from where they keep it by their garage to the street, so that yes, so that the waste hauler doesn't need to move it, but Bill does, or I do. So I would like to be able to be able to try this out. So if we have one here, it's a great idea. We're going to do this. With the weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll have a we'll have a fully loaded, 96 gallon can. It. We'll, we'll get that. And, you, and what, what if you need green waste, feel free to go pull any amount of weed. Just go buy it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, know, you know where it is. Uh, if you could just help dig a path through there, I'd be happy. Saving them for us? Is that... uh, I just I do a little at a time, but unfortunately the weeds are going faster than me. All right. All right. So I think the suggestion of having a fully loaded can will be has been. And what is the weight when it's fully loaded? Uh, well, I have to get back to you, and I. I but it's it's uh, essentially the green material and well because we're uh, with the um, <coughs> cans you can't they can't weigh more than like thirty five pounds right yes so I, I have to get back to it. I, I, I don't know this off the top of my head a little bit depending on whether you rained the day before yeah well no that's the other advantage because now you have a lid on top of that can right before you didn't with the non standardized cans it's all soaking soaked in and wet. They have holes in the bottom from dragging them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we dealt that one to the ground, so let's move on. Okay, the next one is the cons we have no public hearing that I'm aware of. Um, so we have the consent agenda, and on the consent agenda, we have 10 items. One is to approve the minutes for the meeting on May 4th and June 1st, 2017. Two is to approve the financial statements for June 2017. Three is approve the warrants for August 1, 2017. Four is the SAM flow report for June 2017. Five is the monthly review of current investment portfolio. Six is the connection permit applications received. Seven is the monthly water production report for June 2017. Eight is the rain report. Nine is the solar energy report. And 10 is the monthly public agency retirement service report for May 2017. Are there any items that you wish to pull from that agenda? Hearing none, can I have a motion to approve? So moved. So moved. All second. second. Okay. <laughs> One or the other. Opposed. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Okay, so new business. We have three items. The first one being review and possible action concerning enrollment in ECO 100. Um, yeah, so um, we've seen now the switch to <coughs> Peninsula Clean Energy, um, and uh, so the default electric uh, is now default electric <coughs> provider, uh, and the option for us is that we're in right now is Eco Plus, and that means that we're using at least 50% renewable energy, 75% uh, carbon free. Uh, we're suggesting here to opt to the Eco 100 which is 100% of Montera Water and Sanitary District's energy needs would come from clean, renewable sources, would be 100% carbon free. <coughs> uh, we've done a fiscal analysis um, with, with the a provider together, um, and that's based on our historical information. And that suggests that our electricity cost, that's water and sewer combined, would, uh, they're currently around 74,000. Uh, would excuse me would be seventy four thousand under the eco one hundred, and that's as opposed to around seventy two thousand. So that's a, a relatively minor increase. Uh, we're actually pretty um, hopeful that we can offset this increase also through some um, further further um, revisions that we that we can actually do right now, we can actually structure our pumping differently due to that we have now the Alta Vista tank. Uh, the Alta Vista tank allows us to um, look at off-peak pumping. And um, so we're at an operational stage where we're almost there that we can do this. So we expect within the next two months that we can actually look at pumping a portion of our water, uh, the off-peak hours and reduce our um, 
our electricity bill through that hopefully offset some of that um, so I want to point out that this actually is something that um, was initiated initiated by the Harbor District was the first one that took this step very recently and Steve McGrath was uh, so kind to send us their material over uh, tell them what steps they took and encourage coast side agencies to follow this um, in this direction so we're asking for um, the board to allow us to enroll in the Peninsula Clean Energy Eco 100 program. Okay. Uh, discussion? So moved. Second. Oh, wait. This is a, a yearly, it's about a $12,000 decision. Three. Three. 71 to 74. For the year? For the okay. Year. Yes. Okay. And then, just as a, a point of fact, uh, the solar energy that we produce uh, up at Alta Vista. Is that on an NEM program, net energy metering, metering program? Yes, meter that flows backwards, yes. Okay, so that, that really even right now we're doing better than 70% because they're supplying it as 70% clean. Yes. And so we're really more like at 85, just I'm pulling that figure off the top of my head, but as it stands right now, if we did nothing. We're definitely better than the 75%. I yeah. can't tell you. Right. I think the percentage is actually relatively minor. Um, but uh, yes, we're reducing the carbon load through using our two solar panels yeah. up at the LZ Society. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, the second item is review and possible action concerning Association of California Water Agencies Committee appointment nominations. <coughs> so this is an annual item. The Association of California Water Agencies is asking for uh, committee appointment nominations for the 17-18 terms. Um, uh, we have our we had our Council Schricker serve on the Legal Affairs Committee in the past. I'm not sure if he's still interested. Um, Director Boyd previously served on the Water Management Committee. Question if that's uh, still of interest to you, Scott. Um, I would be interested in continuing to serve on the Groundwater Committee. Those are all great ideas. Okay, so um, essentially we would like to authorize to submit the recommendation to ACWA. Before we, uh, is there any interest of anybody else on any other committee that this group? I have a Naval Services Committee, I think, because this is a very useful function. I would appreciate nomination. Yeah. So we've got the three of you. We, uh, my question <coughs> is, um, anyone in this group that, it, like, you guys have any interest in? We're good. Catherine, you're not doing anything. Do you have anything of interest? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> all right. So um, I'm doing that with love. Um, all right, uh, we have the three uh, nominations. Mm -hmm. uh, can we have a motion to approve the nominations from the respective committees, please? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. Oh, this is going fast. Number three, quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't, don't, don't change it. I kind of lost my head here. Um, number three is review and possible action concerning cancellation of the next regular scheduled meeting on August 17th. So this is the usual heads up that at this time we have no um, <coughs> urgent items that require us to hold the meeting. If they come up, we would inform the board and uh, the public uh, about the change, but right now we're anticipating that this meeting will not be held. Okay, so but in Help. case something comes up at Sam, then we, we, can, we can have the meeting or we can call a special meeting. Yes, yes. Yeah. We can have the regular meeting. My guess is, given what's going on, that we're, that we're going to meet with Sam and the in the 17th. It may well be. So. Okay, so that being done, we have um, committee reports. God, it's still sunshine up there. Uh, so, uh, Sam. It's obvious. So last, last Thursday, we had a special meeting with Sam to attempt to address the uh, Sam budget. Um, the city of Half Moon Bay uh, representatives elected to not attend. We took public comment. And I'll mention that uh, for a special meeting, it was heartening to see so many members of the public come and address uh, the members of the board who chose to show, and uh, pretty much uniformly expressing dismay around the chaos uh, being visited 
on the agency and its members by the legal action that Capital Bay initiated. Um, <clears throat> what was the other item that, uh, that was the big one. The other item we heard a report from staff. On the Regional Water Quality Control Board right. visit from the regulators. So the, uh, we have a follow-up special meeting of SAM to again attempt to address the agenda come Monday night. This one will be at the Sewer Authority in Hatton Bay at 7 o'clock. And it will be televised? And uh, the one from last week is available as well. And people are invited to come. And um, uh, if I have time, I won't make sure I have cookies. One should never offer time. cookies and say they don't have time. So. <laughs> uh, all right, so a very important meeting on Monday, uh, 7 o'clock at the SAM uh, offices. Uh, Mid Coast Council, Catherine? There has been a lot going on at the Mid Coast Council. People may have seen the story polls for Valmar Bluffs. Um, and um, you should get a hold of uh, Lisa Ketchum on that. Um, and um, the next meeting will be a review of the county is updating its subdivision regulations. And I would recommend that everybody read that and go online to see if people can be doing subdivisions right next to you to add more housing here. Um, I believe this will have to be approved by the Coastal Commission, so it is very, very important if you have feelings one way or the other to put them in writing and send them to the council and the county. Um, the other is a progress update for the Cypress Roundabout and Connect the Coast. Um, Connect the Coast is a county effort to figure out um, how to make traffic move faster so they can put more houses here. On the basics. Um, but that's what it is. The uh, roundabout at Cyprus is uh, supposed to be part of the Big Wave project. And, um, but we need safety on our streets here. Um, so please watch the meeting or come to it um, because the, the roundabouts are the solution that the community has. Uh, the, the option was either roundabouts or stoplights. And the community has been lobbying, uh, those who have attended these meetings have been, have been lobbying for roundabouts. Um, Partly, I think, because they are becoming so much more common throughout California, and they keep the traffic moving, is what people have said. Yeah. Anyone ever done roundabouts, uh, picked in Europe, I, I mean, as you know, all those buildings are right bikes, and it is, those are very nice, because they're so simple, and they keep in motion, and so yeah, They're much yeah, safer. They're much safer, and they're... And they're actually, from an economy standpoint, to safe and fuel and a whole bunch of other things. And the new designs of roundabout, mostly mm. the people I have heard, who I have heard complain mm. about roundabouts are concerned about the old roundabouts with the high curves. The new roundabouts, the curves are, are shaved into the roadway so that if you can't make that tight of turn, you can actually go over the, the uh, sidewalk. So they're much safer than they used to. Anyway, that's mid the sidewalk. Doesn't have, doesn't have that. She needs it to send it, not where people are walking. <laughs> I hope. Well, it, no, the, newer, the newer ones were way better than the old ones. Like, and even the old I enjoyed ones, them. unless you were seeing some of the other countries. Losing your vision at that point. But anyway, CSDA report. Nothing to report. There was supposed to be a meeting next week, but it's been moved to October. Okay. Attorney's report? Nothing to report. I was going to say you've been busy. Uh, director's report, did you? <coughs> Bill, you want to talk about your experience? Uh, you mean you want to volume off my bicycle? Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're here. We yeah. were worried about I'd like you. to say, Bill, you are an intrepid soul to yeah. come through that and come to this meeting. So. Well, there's some stories said that maybe he was he should have gotten seen a little bit quicker than he did you. That was a pretty tough week. No, what happened was I got seen and I went home and uh, then the next day I went back in, and the, uh, this time they really kept me in there. So I had a lung puncture. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, yeah. He said you could have died, Bill. No, I don't. It was I don't think it was a lung puncture. You know? No. That's what your wife said. 
You had air coming out. It was a lung puncture. Yeah. So, you're leaking. You know, Jim's on a You're leaking. So, anyway, the long and the short of it is that uh, I'm on, on an extended leisurely vacation. No yeah. bike riding for you. No. And I'm not allowed to get on an airplane either. So, that's right. It was kind of bad. You had a couple of weddings and everything. Yeah. Time, so. Not so bad. Yeah. So, anyway. Oh, sorry about that. We're yeah. glad you're here. Good. Yeah. Um, and, Clemens, anything from you? Nothing. Wow. Cool. I can't believe it. Hey, this is uh, uh, but don't get too excited. Yeah, we have to go back in the closed session. We have one more uh, the, the cockroach discussion. Think to think to so we will, uh, we will go into closed session. We'll let the camera go. And thank you so much. And we'll report back out as soon as we're